We punished the people of Pharaoh with years of drought and shortness of crops, that they might receive admonition. So we sent plagues upon them, wholesale death locusts, lice, frogs, and blood. Signs openly self-explained, but they were steeped in arrogance, a people given to sin. Similar verses of the Quran of which one is given above inform about the calamities that befell Pharaoh and his community and mention calamities that were sent to them such as drought, flood, frog, and blood. It is as follows. Allah Almighty sent an intense rain to the community of Pharaoh who insisted on denial. The rain continued for eight days and nights, and no one could get out. Floods occurred as a result of the overflowing of the River Nile and destroyed homes, crops, and animals. Upon this calamity, the people of Pharaoh came to Hazrat, Moses, peace be upon him, and said, Pray your Lord, let him revoke this calamity so that we can believe in you. Hazrat, Moses prayed and the flood ended with the blessing of his prayer. However, they did not believe and insisted on their denial. Upon this, Allah Almighty gave them the calamity of locusts as a sign and miracle. The flocks of locusts which ate crops and the fruits reached up to the ceiling of homes as well as inside their clothes. Upon this calamity, once again they came to Hazrat, Moses, and wanted him to pray and let this calamity revoke and said to him that they would believe in him if he would do so. Upon this, Hazrat Moses prayed again and with the blessing of his prayer, a strong wind came and poured the flocks of locusts into the river. However, Pharaoh and his community, whose hearts were blackened, did not believe in this miracle either, and they broke their promise. Upon this, Allah Almighty sent them the calamity of insects. The insects ate the crops that remained from locusts and sucked their blood by entering their clothes. Hence they came to Hazrat Moses the third time and wanted him to pray and let him revoke this calamity and said him that they would believe in him if they would do so. Hazrat Moses prayed again and Allah Almighty destroyed the insects. However, once again, Pharaoh and his community did not believe in him and said to Hazrat Moses, You are a magician. You are doing magic. Upon this, Allah Almighty sent frogs over them. The frogs were so plentiful that their residences were filled with frogs. Pharaoh and his community, who could not escape from these frogs, could not find any other way but going to Hazrat Moses for the survival and wanted him to pray and let these frogs be destroyed. In return for this, they promised, This we will certainly believe in you. Hazrat Moses prayed again and with the blessing of his prayer, a rain came and poured all of the frogs upon the sea. However, they did not believe in and continued their raunchiness. Upon this, Allah Almighty poured blood over them and everything was drenched in blood, including their drinks.
Here, the aforementioned verses of the Quran inform us about the calamities that befell Pharaoh and his community and give us a lesson of warning. So, what do history books say about the events that the Quran informs? Now, let us listen to the historical scripts about this subject. The Aipur papyrus that remained from the era of Middle Kingdom was found at the beginning of the 19th century. After being found in 1909, this papyrus was sent to Leiden Holland Museum and translated by Gardner. In this papyrus, calamities such as the drought, famine in Egypt are narrated as well as the escape of slaves. Besides, it is clearly understood that the author of these aforementioned papyrus, Ipur, is the eyewitness of these events. The following is mentioned about the calamities in Ipur papyruses, which are also narrated in the Quran. Plague is throughout the land. Blood is everywhere. The river is blood. For soeth that has perished which yesterday was seen. The land is left over to its weariness like the cutting of flax. Lower Egypt weeps. The entire palace is without its revenues. To it belong, by right, wheat and barley geese and fish. For soeth, grain has perished on every side. For nine days there was no exit from the palace, and no one could see the face of his fellow. Towns were destroyed by mighty tides. Upper Egypt suffered devastation. Blood everywhere. Pestilence throughout the country. No one really sails north to Byblos today. What should we do for cedar for our mummies? Gold is lacking. Men shrink from tasting human beings and thirst after water. That is our water. That is our happiness. What shall we do in respect thereof? All is ruin. The towns are destroyed. Upper Egypt has become dry. The residence is overturned in a flash. While listening to the information of written in papyrus that we were informed about in the 20th century, it is as if you are listening to the verses of the Quran, aren't you? The reason for this is that the information given in the papyrus is almost the same as the information in the verses of the Quran and supports the news given by the Quran exactly. Now we are asking the following questions. Since there is a great similarity between the information of this papyrus that informs about the calamities that were sent to Pharaoh and his community and the verses of the Quran, what can the explanation of this be, except the fact that the Quran is the book and word of Allah? Is it possible for a person who could not read or write to know this information by himself and inform people about it? No, this is not possible. A person cannot know this information on his own then the Quran cannot be the word of a man, but only the word of Allah, who is pre-eternal and post-eternal, knows anything that happened and will ever happen in detail.